Micron Data Center of the Future. Uh, I had the pleasure of hosting the Micron Data Center of the Future uh, event uh, for a press and an analyst and had a great conversation uh, with uh, their company's uh, head of memory and compute and their head uh, of storage. These guys are great. Uh, Jeremy Werner, he's the storage head, and Raj Hazra, uh, you might have um, uh, uh, remembered him from some compute jobs he's been in, uh, in um, but he's now the computer networking head for uh, Micron, and essentially what compute means uh, is memory. And we had this great discussion, um, and I, I think where I was left with, Daniel, and I've this whole notion of composable uh, memory, okay, where, you know, today, if you want, if you want more memory, you in the data center, you probably have to buy a new compute node. But why, why don't we have to do that when it comes to storage, you can put a SAN, you can put a NAS, uh, you, you can make it composable. And that is that is how uh, the big hyperscaler players have been architecting their data center. But this whole notion of the ability to, if you want more memory, uh, you have a rack of memory. Uh, imagine that, like having a rack of storage. So that is the future, and it's a standard called uh, CXL uh, that that they're working on. It. And I, I have personally talked to architects at the largest hyperscalers, and that is the next big thing. Uh, Micron is is leading the pack uh, when it comes into that, uh, compared even to you know, in in my opinion, compared to Samsung and and what Hynix is doing out there. Uh, and certainly, uh, Micron is is uh, doing a lot of thought leadership. Uh, I was also uh, had the pleasure that same day that Micron uh, came out with their uh, 7400 SSD line, and, and essentially, it's a DDR4. So, sorry, it's a um, full set of high performance SSD with let me see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different form factors that can hit uh, the edge of the data center, uh, high performance mid-tier performance, uh, highest security, good security, all of these different flavors. And I was really left thinking um, it's great uh, that SSDs now have so much heterogeneity because quite frankly, they were just one, uh, one form factor uh, for everybody. And what that says to me is that SSDs are becoming even more important which gets all the way back to Daniel, a lot of what I've seen you talking about related to consumer behavior and this notion of, you know, I want it now, I want it fast and I want it free. Okay. And then on the flip side, the, uh, the SSD folks are like, okay, well, how do I do that and uh, use less energy to protect the environment? So uh, I'm probably going to do a write up on it. Uh, it, it was really uh, fascinating, but uh, I appreciated uh, uh, Micron uh, having me on. Yeah, it's, it's, it was great to see you there. Uh, Micron's been a, kind of a little bit of an uns, unsung hero of, of the semiconductor space here. Uh, the company's performed very well. Storage uh, memory doesn't always get the same excitement that uh, compute does. It, it just is what it is. Um, but Micron's been extremely competitive. We've heard from the company. They've, they've been innovative. They, they're trying to knock down um, you know, barriers to helping enterprises scale, you know, data center of the future. Look, if you don't have the memory and storage you need, all that compute is irrelevant. You need the data to serve the applications. This stuff works harmoniously here, Pat. And Micron is very, very much at the center of this. Um, you know, I'd say just to keep our show moving, um, this will be one to watch. It's a company to keep an eye on. I would hope that when you have a link to your piece for people that want to maybe read a little bit more in depth here, uh, you'll drop it out there for everybody. But uh, yeah, great day. Great day for Micron. Great event. And the host was pretty good as well. Um, I give him a seven. 